Queen's Gambit declined, Tartakower defense, 8.BD3 BB7. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White overpowered black in the middle game. Opening with the queen's pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. Nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. D5 takes space in the center, attacks the C4 pawn and helps control the E4 square. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. B7 develops the bishop, supports the knight on F6 and prepares castling. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. A pawn kicks the opposing bishop, forcing it to move or risk being captured. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. The light squared bishop is ready to be fianchetto to b7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. It is a fair deal after all captures. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. This is an equal trade. Takes back. It is the last book move. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a chance to link together rooks. It is incorrect. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. A very strong play. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is quite good. That's fine. It is good. That's a decent move. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This enables the adversary to make a passed pawn. It is incorrect. A pawn kicks the opposing bishop, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is quite good. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is quite good. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable pawn. It is best. This moves the queen to safety. It is good. There was only one good move there. This misses an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is a mistake. That's fine. It is good. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a chance to pose a pun winning threat. It is incorrect. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to develop a queen off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. The pawn is now suitably protected. That's good. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. On the file, 
the rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. It is ideal. This protects the attacked pawn. It is good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This disregards a superior strategy for defending a piece that was being attacked. It is incorrect. This loses material. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. That was a truly amazing move. This is the only good move. It is brilliant. This threatens to create a passed pawn. This permits the opponent to take an outpost with a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This misses a chance to improve a bishop's square and broaden its range. It is incorrect. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is good. This is winning stuff. It is quite good. Recaptures. This threatens to pin a bishop to the king. It is best. This comes in several sections. It is ideal. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is excellent. This succeeds in capturing a helpless rook. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is quite good. The queen is therefore moved to safety. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is best. This ignores a more effective technique to reclaim a piece. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Thus, a bishop is won. It is ideal. Recaptures. This is the start of the end game and black is losing. It is excellent. This defends the attacked pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White overpowered black in the middle game. 